Hey, early birds and night owls. My name is Knox, aka Mako, and welcome back to RimWorld. Yes, we are back after a brief gap. I know, I know. I just, uh, I had some stuff to do. Some stuff that was unexpected happened, and I really couldn't get any videos up. I did get one on Christmas Day, so I hope you enjoyed that one. But hey, you know what? We are back. We are fresh, and we have a lot to do. I am apparently still building the floor there, which is pretty good. I'm not sure how a building can be indoors yet. There will still be trees. Like, what kind of walls are these? How tall are these walls? Let's see. Where is Avery? Avery's probably, yep, mining away. All right, that's good, because we seem to need a lot of steel. I know there's some right there, which is probably closer than that. Hmm. I probably should have taken that first, huh? I know we have steel, like, scattered everywhere. Ooh, there's some steel there, too, but I really don't want to cut into that. I know there should be steel scattered somewhere, because I did load it up, like, I don't know, I, I launched the game, like, the game scenario had steel somewhere, I don't know where. I honestly don't see it anywhere, huh, interesting, alright, well, I guess then mining steel is the way to go, because otherwise we would probably be out of it, right, because, uh, steel, okay, there's really no steel, alright, fine, that's, whatever, whatever. So we need to get these batteries up pretty soon, except I'm, like, too busy building the floor here. That's fine. Uh, Avery has a minor break risk, probably because her dad died. I believe her dad was Sleazy, who was a bit of a dumbass. Yep, there you go. My father Sleazy died. All right, fair enough. I'm still sorry about that, but uh, he was dumb, all right? He was just, like, standing up in the corner like, oh, you know, pirates are chasing me. Let me just stay here. I mean, that's probably our fault, too, but uh, I'm pretty sure you could have done something about that. Oosh. Anyway. Ra is still gathering food and growing stuff, and we have plenty of food here, as you can see. We have so many berries and rice and potatoes, and we don't have anywhere to really cook them just yet, but we will have that soon. I was thinking maybe I could use, like, wooden walls, since we don't have much granite left. We're also going to need a production room and separate bedrooms. Now, I might start building the bedrooms out of wood first, and then build them out of granite, because really... We have, like, four blocks of sandstone there, like, a, just, like, one little stack of granite somewhere over here. I, I saw it while I was over here. Hmm. It's it's over here. There we go. There's that one stack of granite blocks. Maybe there's more, and I just didn't realize it. Hold on. Granite. Granite. Eh. It's, it's somewhere in here. There we go. No, that's, that might be it, actually. Oh, it's, this is various. I don't know where the rest of the granite blocks are, but uh, it's, I think it's probably safer to just use wood right now since we don't have that much uh, going on. Meanwhile, Midori over here is, uh, I don't know, she's still in a lot of pain, and yeah, she's very not happy. She's not an extreme break risk, but she has a major break risk right now. It looks like she's probably going to head to the extreme break risk pretty soon. Hmm. What am I doing? Alright, I think I was getting rid of a bush or something there. How about we put a torch over here for Midori so that maybe she'll have light and she won't be so terrible. It won't be in such a terrible mood. Let's see. Where the heck is it? Furniture? Yeah. We could put a regular lamp, actually, since we do have power now. So I think we want to do that. We just, like, replace that with a regular lamp. We could replace this with a regular lamp, too. And then we can move these lamps around as needed because uh, you don't really need the lamps much anymore. I mean, the torch. I mean, sorry. That's not what I meant. <laughs> because we might need the lamp somewhere else is what I meant. Why did I even say what I said? I was thinking about the torch. I don't need the torch anymore. But then I was talking about the lamps. Ugh, whatever. So we're going to get rid of the torch. Oh, excuse me one second. Ugh. Man, this apartment is super dry, and so my throat has just been not happy at all for the last few days. It's just, uh I couldn't talk for a few days either. Because, the oh my gosh, my throat got in such bad condition that I was just like, oh my god, guys, yeah, what's going on? Okay, I'm just going to like that's literally what was happening and it was it was terrible like lux was just yelling at me every time i talked to try to talk she was just like just shut up stop talking so that was also pretty bad <laughs> oh man i've had a very interesting holiday if you if you can't tell it looks like i am hauling steel over to the batteries very slowly but uh i do work fast so that should wait i do work fast right yeah i do work fast so that should help a little bit let's see minor breakers again for avery uh, I guess since I'm the only builder that these lamps aren't going in anytime soon, we also need to extend the power conduits towards them. So maybe like do something like this. Oh, wait, let's just go all the way across there. And the same thing with this. We could just go up here and something like this. Oh, wait, that's not right. Whatever, that'll work anyway. So something like that. 
I'm going to now just go for a walk. All right, well, fair enough. You know, go for a walk if you want. We still have a lot of stuff to do, but this, seeing as uh, our colonists are very limited in what they can do, I mean, Ra is basically just... Uh, she does a lot of this, and... Oh, she's growing a lot of berries, actually, but that's fine, that's fine. We'll have to get a research bench up pretty soon. It looks like the power is out now. I, these shouldn't be blocked. No, they're not blocked, but it's not really making that much power. We definitely need a battery, like, soon. Like, right now, so we can store all this power. So maybe I should wake myself up and actually have myself come over here and build this battery so we can actually store the rest of the solar power and we can use that to power this up at night and power up the lamps at night too so we won't be in dark. Because being in the dark is scary. Apparently these little babies are scared of everything. Let's No, 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 keep working on this one. Apparently that one didn't have enough steel. All right, my bad, my bad. What is Ra gonna do? She's gonna go harvest some more stuff. All right, yeah, I mean, whatever. As long as we have plenty of food. I know we have a lot of meals, but these are getting eaten by the boars apparently. And they're deteriorating fast because they haven't been hauled over here. Now, I don't think Avery can haul, so she's pretty... Ra's the only one who can haul these things. So let's actually get her to haul some of these meals. And we'll get the uh, the rest of them hauled instead of growing the stuff. Because we don't really need the stuff grown right now. We have plenty of stuff. Okay, get, get your butt over here. There you go. So we're going to haul the rest of the meals, you know, just manually. Because clearly this is something that needs to be done right now. Otherwise, she's just going to keep harvesting food. And then we'll end up with like a billion food and have nothing to do with it. Let's just, nope, I know, I know, I know, I know, calm down, game. Like, seriously, I know there's a lot of stuff to do here. It looks like I'm building the power conduits right now, and I should be probably building the lamps first, but okay, sure, let's not do that first. Yeah, oh, I left the meals in the door. That's, that's bad. Okay, that's something you never want to do. Just, uh, haul those, please. <laughs> Whoops. Alrighty, good. So, all the meals are inside. Where am I? I am going to get some more steel. Oh boy, do we need a dedicated hauler, but we don't have that yet. And Avery is just... Are you, what are you doing? You're harvesting raspberry bushes. What? what? Avery, you you grow. You, I guess you don't have any mining stuff left to do. Huh. All right, fair enough. That's That makes sense. Let's actually give you more mining orders then so you can continue mining. Since you are our main miner, I do want you to get everything mined out as quickly as possible. Hmm. I guess I can probably mine out some of this stuff here. Let me just do this, this, and maybe like this. I don't want to get too close in there because I might accidentally break into it. And we also want this mined out because it's pretty close. And I think this is granite. Yeah, it's granite. So eventually we can use all the... Uh, all the little granite pieces to make some more granite bricks for our uses for more housing and more i don't know i don't know what else are in there i won't make the floors out of granite i'll make the floors out of limestone or marble or whatever the heck this is limestone yeah i'll make limestone flooring because i don't really like limestone that much it looks pretty fugly but you can barely notice it as flooring so that's pretty okay with me so Avery's going to go off and do some mining. Good, 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 good. Ra is uh, uh, picking some more rice. Okay. Fair enough also. And I am going to continue building power conduits and not the lamp. Seriously? Okay, I just went to sleep. I just went to sleep instead of building. Cause, probably because I woke myself up early. But we do have batteries. Batteries are... are batteries are not connected. Oh my gosh. Seriously. You had all this freaking time... To connect the freaking batteries. And, oh, okay. Oh, okay. That was my bad. I should have micro micromanaged it. I just should have paid attention to this. We don't have power now. So, uh, we need to get power. Soon. Am I only carrying a single steel? Okay, I was about to say. If I'm carrying just one steel, this is going to be very annoying. But yeah, now we have batteries, you guys. Hey! And everybody's about to go to sleep. And, of course, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Hmm. I wonder when we'll get a raid. Or when we'll get another person. Or when anything bad will happen. I uh, you know toxic fallout will never happen, thank goodness. Midori actually healed finally. Oh my gosh, look, she's up and around. Okay, so maybe building her a lamp will be nice. Um, that door is not secure. It's a wooden door. So we have to be careful because she's all the way on the other side and she might try to run away. Even though she is her mom. I don't understand why she would try to run away. Hmm. Well, I, I don't know. Anything is possible. Why are the bushes like glowing? Or maybe they're just blowing in the breeze. Yeah, that's what it looks like. All right. So Avery's going to go over here and try to recruit me, Dodie. It would be nice to have you, Mom. Oh, 12%. Oh, 12% chance, you guys. It's getting better and better and better. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, she has an actual permanent bite on her torso. So that's going to make her... Uh... Oh, I thought it was going to make her a little slower, but I guess not. Okay. So she's actually... And yeah, she just w went to above the 
major break wrist, so she has a minor break wrist right now. She's wearing worn out apparel, eight without a table. We could probably make this a little better, but it's you know, we have to keep it like that for now. Adding a light will probably hopefully help at night. But for now, she's going to have to stay uncomfortable. She is in darkness, so, oh, 13% chance. Okay, Avery, keep trying. Keep trying. We're getting there. We will be there soon. Let's see. Who, who, someone's like, all right, I was grabbing all the steel. Why don't I just haul, like, a bunch of steel all, all at once instead of grabbing three? I need to stop grabbing three. I need to haul more pieces. I know all this stuff is outside here. It's probably not. Yeah, it's not good. It's really not good. Need a meal source. Need a, yeah, yeah. I know. I know, game. I know we have a lot of problems right now that we need to solve. I hope I'm bringing more steel over for the lamps. Conduits. How am I still working on the conduits, of all things? Okay, now I'm cutting the pine tree. Yeah. Apparently working on this stuff takes a long, long time. All right, so we want to do something different. We want to go over here. We want to add apparel to this, because apparently it's not added to it. I don't want apparel in here at all, because it's just going to go bad. Hmm. Looks like everything was hauled away from here. That's pretty good. I don't know when Ra had the time to do that, but apparently she did. Go Ra! So let's see. Uh, once she actually finishes doing her food stuff, and she does have more food to haul inside. Bless her, man. She's been cooking, like, so much. I'm mean, sorry. She's been harvesting so much. Soon I will probably get to cooking, but it seems like I have way too many things to actually build to get to cooking. Hmm. Maybe Ra's gonna have to become a cook, too. Let's put her on four there. So when we actually get a stove up and running, we will... Uh, delegate that to her too. Oh no, there's a dry thunderstorm. And uh, do you know what dry thunderstorms mean? Dry thunderstorms mean fire. Unless they are accompanied by rain afterward, it's not good. It's not It's not good at all. But rain, I think. Oh, there we go. There's our fire. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. At least we have people who can actually get rid of fires. But let's, uh. Oh, let's hope we make it through this. Oh, there's a fire right nearby. Hmm. Any other fires, you guys? Oh, oh, somewhere down here? No, okay, thank goodness. It's, uh, oh, it's raining now. Okay, great. So the rain is actually going to put out the fires. That's a blessing, you guys. Sometimes it happens like a dry thunderstorm and without anything, any of the rain. And it's so bad. First, I want you to haul this. Like, haul that and just ignore everything else. You need to leave, like, put this clothes inside right now. Otherwise, it's going to go very, very bad. And that's not going to be good at all. Okay, haul that. Oh, I just disturbed sleep. I know, I know, I know. But you people should probably be awake and working. Are you going to haul this or what? I know you're hungry, but you need to haul. Like, haul like ass, man. Right now, right now, you need to haul. You too, haul this. I know you people are hungry. I know you have other things to do, but these things are deteriorating. <laughs> if they uh, stay out in the rain for too long, they're going to be really bad. The same thing with the wood. But wood is everywhere on this map, so I am not really concerned with that. This is also deteriorating. We should probably keep this. Uh, apparently, it won't let me haul it. Oh, what? Okay, are textiles on here or not? I don't think textiles are on here. It's only just to... Uh, yeah. All right, let me change that. All textiles. So maybe hopefully these will be moved inside. It's I guess it's okay if they go a little bad, but not too bad. I don't I just don't want them going very bad. So it looks like I'm gonna keep chopping down trees here. Avery, what are you doing? Avery's gonna go and Oh no! Oh stop, 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 stop. Midori is escaping. Oh my gosh. Alright, so um we're gonna actually have to stop her. Avery is actually trying to catch her. Attempt to recruit Midori. Wait, what? She's not escaping. What was that game? Is this escaping? Is this like a new version of escaping or something? Because I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> oh. Alright, see, we're trying to recruit her now. It doesn't look like she's trying to escape. I think the game was maybe trying to catch my attention here. Like, oh, look, maybe she's trying to escape. <laughs> Go check on her right now. Yeah, no, it, it looks like she's okay. Maybe she's going to get a lamp now, or is she going to beat down Avery or something and then try to run away? Yeah, we're building the lamp now for sure. And all the way... No, we're just trying to build the conduits. It looked like Midori was trying to escape there. Hmm. Huh. I know it's a hideous environment, lady, but please, please. Like, there's really not that much we can do. Oh. Yeah, we're going to have to build better prison cells. Suddenly, her, her recruit chance just went really low. Maybe the rain isn't helping. Does, do people get really upset in the rain? Because I know I get upset in the rain. And I would not be happy. Hmm. Well, these batteries actually filled up qu pretty quickly. Maybe we need more. But uh, instead of, you know, focusing on the batteries, maybe we should just, like, stay here glued to Midori to make sure that she actually does not try to leave. I should probably... Yep, yeah, there you go. I'm trying to build all the stuff. I should probably build... Oh, no. Oh, no. An eclipse. So the bad thing about eclipses are that uh, we don't get any sunlight. So that means these things are no longer producing power. 
So we have to use reserve power and hopefully power from this if they're actually, you know, turning out power, which they aren't at the moment. So reserve power it is. At least we have reserve power, you know. We could be out of batteries, but uh, we actually made some. Uh, it looks like I haven't built this yet, but I am building the lamp, which is good. Now, it's not going to get any light yet until I actually cut down this tree. Are you going to... Okay, there we go. We're cutting down the tree. Midori's not running away game. It looks like she's standing put. All right. Avery's uh, mining some more steel. Okay, good. That's pretty close steel, so we don't have to keep running all the way over here. Although, if pirates do show up, we're kind of screwed. Because <laughs> we're going to have to... Uh, they're probably going to just take that steel and run. Now, I know we have these ship parts over here, and we could deconstruct them. I'm going to actually set that to happen. Because they have steel and um, parts. Uh, components. There we go. I was like, what do you call those things? Components. All right. J just keep working on the conduits. Let's get the lamps up. Oh, Avery, why are you thinking about death? What was that? What, what did you did you just have a very bad Oh, you insulted me. All right, Avery. All right. I see you. Apparently, we do not get along well. <laughs> oh. I have been insulting Avery nonstop. I don't know why, but I have. So that's a thing. And oh, I'm sorry about Sleazy again. I'm sorry. It's just uh it's something that happens. Okay, dude, listen. Listen. I know you want to haul like one at a time. But just do a massive haul, okay? Once you're there, once you have all the steel over there, guess what? You can just pick it up from there and use it wherever. All right? All right. 7% chance. Yeah, that really went down. We're going to add a lamp there, and hopefully the lamp will be a great help. Let's uh, get this power conduit in. It looks like that's what I'm going to do right now. All right, there we go. Midori has a lamp. So you are no longer in darkness. You should be feeling a little better. Yeah, it looks like she's a little better. She's going above the major break risk lines, so that's good. Hmm, what else can we do? I don't think we could change that or that. I mean, we can, like, if we get an arm or a leg or an eye or something, we can, like, chop off the one she has and give her the part. But <laughs> that's not ideal. And uh, Avery is having a major break risk right now. It's hot. You're hot. Wait. How? It's 64 degrees Fahrenheit. What's your comfortableness? Some comfortable range. Oh! Get rid of the cap. Get rid of it. Um... Let's take that off. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to drop it. Let's see. Comfortable range is now 73. All right. Sorry about that. I actually didn't realize that. Yeah, it's it's too warm. We're going to have Rock come over here and take the, the, the cap took thing. I don't know how to pronounce that. So that it won't deteriorate further. Now, where is me? Where are I? Okay, it looks like I placed the lamp. I do want to move this over here. I want to reinstall it right there. And I am taking these things apart so that we can actually get the components and steal from them. So we'll have some more things just like right here in our home base area to uh, use. We're going to go over there and move the lamp. And then ta -da, we have lighting, you guys. All right. So I, I guess I'm just going to keep taking these things apart then. And Avery is still having a break risk. Why? Why'd you put it back on? All right. All right, dumbass. Look, you can't put it back on if you're feeling freaking warm. It's still 60. Oh, wait. It actually went below 63. Fine. Whatever. Whatever, Avery. Seriously. Ugh. Ugh. Just attempt to recruit me, Dodi. This needs cleaning, but Avery can't clean. So get over here. I need you to clean this stuff. We're going to probably lock Rai in there. I know it sounds bad. But we're going to lock her in there just to clean this area up because having blood here does not help me, Dodi, at all. She'll be like, it's so dirty in here. I hate this place. Blah, blah, blah. And yeah, it's it's really not helping. We only have minor breakers right now, so we're good with that. We're good in that direction, or well, in that area. So let's uh get her in there to clean the blood. There we go. We're going to F the door. <laughs> oh, F the door. Hey. We're going to forbid the door until all this stuff gets clean. There we go. All right. Oh, okay. Everybody can go except for Midori. Midori has to stay in here, but it's clean now. 40% chance of recruiting. Okay. It's getting better. It's getting a lot better. Avery, you can leave. You don't have to stay in here, all right, buddy? Okay, there we go. Avery left. I am, what am I doing? Digging at compacted machinery. Nope. I don't think so, buddy. All right, so now that I've actually done all the stuff, I can actually, let's see. Let's go to, to the zone areas. I want to delete a part of the zone just like that. All right. I want to go ahead and put in a wooden wall. Um, I guess I could do it like here. Yeah, fair enough. All right. Do I only need one door right now? I probably only need one door. Hmm. No, you know what? I'm going to do two. Two doors is fine. Two doors makes sense. And then for production, we're going to go over here and get an electric stove since we do have steel and components. Let's just uh, flip this here. And oh, that's not even, is it? Hmm. I mean, I could put two. Sure. 
Let's just know we'll have bad work speed penalty, bad temperature. I mean, it's probably too cold in here for it, but once we have the wall up, it won't. It really won't be a problem. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. And also, I want to build a stool here. It's probably going to be a little crappy. Actually, I'll build a stool once I can see in here. We do need a lamp in here. So let's do that because I do need to see. And uh, we will connect that with some power and just go up like this. There we go. Alrighty, so that's more work for me to do. Let me just not do that. Don't dig at that. Don't dig at that. Just get to work because you are our only builder and we need build stuff. Stuff needs to be built right now. Okay, there we go. I'm grabbing the steel. I'm doing that stuff. Wow, I built that lamp pretty fast. But there's more steel there. There's more steel over by our home right here. So we could use that too to build all the things that we need to do. And I am, of course, eating. Okay, construction failed. At least I'm getting better at building it, aren't I? Or construction, sorry. Yeah, slowly but surely because I just don't have a fire for it. But once we get someone who has a fire for it, they'll be building all the time, you guys. They're just going to be nonstop building, and it's going to be fun. It's going to be happy times because we won't have to deal with someone who doesn't really like it too much and only has to do it because she's, a, oh, she's the best one. Oh, no, fall has begun. At least we have all this food stored up. That's really the best part of it. Looks like I'm going to be a dumbass and actually go to sleep instead of actually working on these things. Okay, fair enough. It is midnight and that is their regular sleep time. So what? Oh, whatever, whatever. Midori, how are you doing? We should probably give her a regular bed, but uh, I don't see any room for that right now. Hmm. Oh, she can do uh, cooking stuff. And not only that, but she can also do a d dumb labor. Hmm. We need to get her soon. We need to fix this. Oh, a friendly AI from your past named Charlin Whitestone has sent you a message. He reveals that he has a starship hidden on this planet and sends you its world coordinates. If you travel to be to the ship, Char Charlin, Charlin, I might have heard that as Charlton. Charlin will take you off of this room world to the stars. All right, so let's jump to the location and see where that is, because uh, it might be just on the other side of the planet and it's gonna take a long time to get there. Uh oh, did it freeze? Game, did you freeze? And then the game just froze, you guys. All right, there we go. It did not freeze. So the journey destination is over here. Where are we? Oh, that's not the way. How do we roll? All right, we roll with our keyboard here. I know I, like, settled somewhere over here or something like that. Is this us? Oh, uh, no, it's a rest stop. Where are we? That's obviously not us. Um, I don't remember where we settled. This is plain mirror. To no, that's not us either. We settled in... Hmm. Well, I don't know. I think it's just like somewhere far, far away from our home. So it's just uh, it's a little bit bad that we have to actually travel all the way to this area here. And we're probably not even close. But uh, yeah, yeah, we'll get there eventually. Let's just uh, get out of this and pay attention to what's going on now in the present. Because that is a future thing. That is a future problem. We clearly do not have the resources to actually get there right now. We're struggling a little bit because we don't have all the buildings that we need. We don't have all the... Col coloner colonizers yeah right oh man my english has left me since i left school you guys it's just been so bad so bad where am i i am actually digging at the compact of steel why am i doing this all right let's add a uh let's add a thing over here i don't think we have enough granite blocks no we don't i would love to build a granite thing but apparently we don't have enough so let's go out of wood this is dangerous i don't like it but whatever and bills all right so i want to cook fine meals above all but there's nobody who has it so once we can do that i want them to do it to for forever but for now cook simple meals i only want them to have 10 because we still have these regular meals so once they have 10 that's fine with me and uh whoever has cooking skill to do it can do it but for now i'm gonna go ahead and build our uh thing apparently i'm gonna cook first all right how about you prioritize on wooden stool instead huh i want to cook instead of build apparently and I, that that makes sense i should probably also build another one of these so let's duplicate it or build a copy and put it right here to make it I don't know, this area is a little dark and that's why i don't like it too much but the temperature in this room is actually 32 degrees fahrenheit not good not good at all your speed yeah it's a little too i don't know like this room is good enough this room is not so we need to maybe add a heater here and there's already limited space, so maybe I should actually just cancel this and add the heater into the corner there. So let's see, temperature, heater. We'll just throw it right here. There we go. So we're going to have a heater there. It gives off some light, which is pretty good. And then we'll have the stove there. Maybe this will actually warm the room to what it needs to be. Maybe it's cold. I'm sorry, maybe it's like, it's bad because it's not double insulated, which is probably what I'm going to have to do now that I think about it. Let's uh, go ahead and delete this part of the zone. I know we're making the fridge even smaller. But I do want to double insulate this because I'm pretty sure wood is probably not a good insulator, huh? 
let's go ahead and add a second wall and some more doors. It's going to take a little while to actually, you know, get to like in and out of the fridge, whatever, the freezer, whatever you want to call it. But it's it's going to be worth it. It's going to help in the end. And that's really what matters at, at the moment. I know this is a very small room, but... Uh, Alright, looks like I'm getting a ahead of myself. I'm trying to cook. Let, I, let's do... Oh. It's because I have cooking above building. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Alright, so let's change that to a 4-2. We don't really need to cook right now. Just focus on construction, man. Maybe cook that. Yeah, just one meal. Cook one meal and you'll be done. Alright, go to construction. Why are you hauling rice? Hauling wood to... There we go. There we go. Alright. Uh, maybe I was trying to get rid of the rice from there. That makes sense. Okay, I know what I'm doing now. Looks like Ra is still harvesting a lot of stuff. She understands that the fall is here and we should probably get rid of all these things. We probably shouldn't be sewing, though, should we? Oh, um, what was that? What was that? Are we getting like, oh, I rejected her. Oh, that's so bad. At least she had a nice chat with me, though. So what's going on here? When are growing season? Does not say here. I thought it would say. Like, where do we see our growing season? This is something I feel like I should know, because uh, I've played this for a little while, and I actually remembered where to see the growing season. But not today, you guys. Not today. But I think it's, uh, it's a very short growing season, so maybe, I don't know, sewing is not a great idea, but whatever. Let her do that so she can get her gardening skill up or whatever. It looks like she's actually hauling things away for us. Thank you. That is awesome. I'm just going to go ahead and build the rest of the doors and the, w and the walls. And, man, she is actually a really good helper. All right, all right. So we're gonna get along pretty well, huh? Yeah, we're pretty good friends, it seems. Let's see what- wait, I think I- did I see what she thought of us? Yeah, so what do I think of her? What do I think of Ra? I think she's pretty okay. I just don't like Avery whatsoever. Ah, uh, because I am a hard worker and Avery's lazy. Okay, I- I understand that. And, and yeah, I guess we're probably gonna start a lot of fights, huh? It's probably good that I have the gun and Avery doesn't. And Avery is- Avery a brawler, that's what it is? No, she's not a brawler. I think it was her dad who was a brawler. Okay. Well, I, I guess that's fine. It's, it's whatever, you guys. It's totally whatever. Mm, we have a lot of stuff to do here. We have to build a home, and we have to do it all pretty soon before we get raided. I don't know when the raiding party's coming, but it's probably going to be one person or two people. I don't know. Ooh, 70% chance. I don't know when it's going to happen. Maybe at the dark of night. I just hope we don't get raided by... Mechanoids anytime soon because we're not ready. We don't have any turrets yet, and I don't know why we don't have the turrets yet. I should really build some turrets now. <laughs> oh, why didn't I build turrets yet? I mean, we only just got our power up. It's, you know, it's nice and slow. The summer went by pretty quickly. Maybe we actually work very slow then. Hmm. Yeah, things do go by a lot quicker when you have five people to start your colony, because that's all I remember, because that's how I've been playing the, the last few games, and uh, starting with two people was a little different. A little slow. A little much. Wait, when do we kill three people? Three, three things, not three people. There was an Arctic wolf. Oh, right. Everything that was eating our food. Well, we got that now, you guys. We got that. And we shall have a heater here in the corner. And we can see, the, like, the difference. Oh, it's already 47 degrees in here. Well, I guess we could keep it at a steady 70 degrees just so that, you know, it won't be too... Was it not going to connect? Okay, right, there we go. I was just like, uh... There you go. So it gives off a little bit of light. You know, it's not that much light, but it works. It works for now. And eventually I'll like toss in the light in here whenever, you know, time permits. But tossing light in there right now, not really of the essence. We do want to save as much power as we can. Avery is coming up. Avery, what are you going to do? You're going to eat? Yeah, you're going to eat. And Midori, how are you feeling right now? I mean, you should be feeling a little better that your place is getting cleaned up and you have lights and it's still cramped. I know. I know, lady. I know. You're hungry, so maybe you're gonna... Oh, Paola has miscarried due to starvation. Starvation? I actually didn't realize that. Oh, man, they ran out of kibble. Holy crap, they eat a lot. Oh, no. Uh-uh. All right, we need to actually get a butcher table up in here because we need to make some kibble. Uh, for now, let's just let the dogs out of their area so they can kill whatever it is that they need to kill t for food. Um, let's see. So we need to go to zone. Clear. Actually, no. Probably just expand the allowed area. Animal area one. Let's make it so they can go maybe... Hmm. Here. Here. Yeah, all the way up through here. Something like up here. Up there. I know there's like little animals and boars and stuff like that roaming around. So that would be nice if they killed them. 
like maybe down here too so that we can actually get anything that comes through here in this area i think that's fair enough oh that's maybe one too many but whatever let's expand that here then and further down here so we can actually get this area and here just like cover everything except for like the refrigerator part i don't want them in the fridge whatsoever because then they'll just keep eating all of our meals. And clearly they're very hungry dogs. So that's... Oh, I was not paying attention to that. I really was not. Please go kill some stuff so you can actually get food. Oh, no. Oh, no. We might lose Paola. Oh, because she's she's just starving. She's... Does she have... Oh, almost trivial for now. So maybe she'll get herself fed soon. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I shouldn't pay attention. Oh, but that's a problem for our next episode because that is it for this episode of RimWorld. Hey, if you liked it, hit the like button to show your support. I do greatly appreciate it. And subscribe because I have new RimWorld videos every single day. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have an awesome night.